All right, Chuckers, you made it past another week. It's Friday. Good job. <laughs> All right, dude, before we draw an orca, let's read some mail. Yeah. Sound good? Yeah. All right, we got a cool email from Penny. She lives in... Taiwan. Yeah, she lives all the way over in Taiwan, and she teaches a class. And she wrote, she uh, did one of our lessons in her class. We thought it was pretty cool, and we thought we'd share it with you. She said, "Hi, Rob. I'm a teacher from Taiwan. I work in a language school. I teach them how to draw in English. And I found your website, and there are so many interesting videos. I let my students draw draw seahorses, and I teach them the seahorses' body parts." Thank you for your video. We are having a lot of fun. Penny. Penny. Yes, that's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. And she sent us some awesome pictures. Should we look at them really quick? Yeah. All right. These are so cool. This first one, here it is. Oh, look at that, man. Is that awesome. pretty cool? Look how much coloring he did. He colored in the whole page. Yeah. And I like the eye. He, yeah. he looks like. So cool. Yes, he looks so cool. Check out this one. What? A blue mm -hmm. face and a, and a yellow body. It's so cool. It's like a... Yellow's my favorite color. Yeah. <laughs> and he's got like, he's got some cool stitches on his face. I wonder if it's Look a it. zombie. <laughs> a zombie seahorse. It's really cool. Zombie horse. Zombie horse. What? Look at that. Rainbow. Rainbow belly and rainbow back and it's pink. <laughs> it's really cute. She said a seahorse doesn't have scales. She wrote that. It's pretty cool. She did a good job. Mm -hmm. Look at that one. And you know what I like about this one? The the face. <laughs> I like the face on the seahorse. It's really cute. It's got a big a big head and a big eye, and it's really cute. Good job. That was awesome. Ah! Look at that one. It's got a lightning bolt coming out of it. A uh, electric eel. Oh, yeah, it totally is. I bet that totally is an electric eel. Right next to another fish and the seahorse. You did such a good a job. Oh, there's there? a shark in the background. You're right. Good job. That was so awesome. Oh, hmm. he looks like a Superman seahorse. <laughs> They're all my favorites, but I like this one. This one's blue and red, and it looks like Spider Man or Superman. And I like the shark, too. Yeah. What do you like? You like the shark? Yeah. It has a big fin. <laughs> yeah, it does. It has a super big fin and he wrote rock on the side of it. Oh, another yellow seahorse. <laughs> <laughs> and I like the blue fish too. That is so cool. I like how long the tail is. It goes around and around and around. She did a good job. Ah, oh, this one's cute. Look at the rock. It's got a crab on it. And I like how she drew the whole ocean. She drew like the water and some seaweed. And then she wrote some stuff on there. She said this, the male seahorse, seahorse is the one that will carry the eggs. Did you know that? Uh, <laughs> That's kind of crazy, huh? Yeah. She did. I knew that. All of them did an awesome job of writing in English and drawing their seahorses. We loved looking at them. Thanks for sending them, Penny. We appreciate your email and the photos, huh? Yeah. That's cool that we have art friends all the way in Taiwan. Yeah. It's nuts. All right, dude, you ready to draw? Yeah. Let's do this. We yeah. hope you guys are going to follow along with us. And if we ever go too fast, you can always pause the video and you can start it. You catch up and then start up, start the video again. All right. Okay, let's do this killer well, man. First step, man. Cool. Get your marker ready. Got your paper. We're gonna. This is gonna be. We're gonna try and make it really simple. He's gonna have a lot of curved lines. We're gonna start. We're gonna draw the side of him. His tail's gonna be bent down here. So we're gonna start with his nose. We're gonna do a little C right here. Just a little one. First step, little C. First step, little C. <laughs> and there. Good job. That was awesome. I was going to say, they don't have a long nose. They kind of, it's short and stubby. What has a long nose? A um, little bit. A seahorse. A seahorse, yeah. No, no, no. I was, gonna, I was thinking of a dolphin. Dolphin oh, has yeah. a long one. All right. Okay, ready for the 
the top, we're going to do the forehead. So watch this. So we do a little round and then we go up. Okay. So this is the top. This is kind of the top of his head and then the body and it's going to go into his fin. No, let's go. That's good. High. No, that's good. You could just curve it down. Well, maybe stop right there and then you can do, you can do his fin and then you'll have enough room. So that's all right. Your fin will be a little short, shorter, but that's okay. They do have long, so we just it's kind of an S line that goes up, and we'll stop there and then do the next step. Yes. Good job, man. All right, okay, now let's do the next part. <laughs> I'm <so> excited. <laughs> I'm excited for this killer whale. Yeah. All right, and then you draw the part that comes down, so there's a little roundup at the top, and then it kind of curls down at the bottom. Okay, now we're gonna do his back fin, or the back part of his tail. So we're gonna come around, we're gonna go around, and then kinda of curve, just curve right at the end like that. Just, just a little bit. Okay, curve down, keep going, and then just a little curve right at the end. Yes, good job. Okay, now we're gonna do the other part of his tail, and it's gonna be, it's gonna come out and then like that. Almost running out of room. I am. Are you? That's okay. Let me see. No, it's good. Good job, man. Don't cover it up. Don't you dare cover that up. <laughs> okay, now let's it. do it. Okay, now we're gonna do the next part, and this is gonna be this fence. So we're gonna just do a little curve around here, and then come back up, and then into kind of where that curled in, but don't don't go too close to it. Yeah, good job, good man. Fence. It's going to be a little one. <laughs> it's good. All right, okay, now we're going to take this. We're going to do the bottom of his body, okay? So we're going to come and we're going to stop right about here so we can do his side fins. And we're going to come down and then curl it in kind of right at the, right there. Kind of tricky. Oh, he's going to be a... It's gonna be a big one. I like it. Okay, now we're gonna do his fin, and then we're gonna do a line that comes down, and then a little curve at the end so that we can curl around, and then we're gonna come back up and in. So curve it and then in. This one, even though there's not very many lines, it's still pretty tricky because the the curves are are kind of tricky to do. So we're now we're going to do the rest of his the rest of his body. It's coming around and into his tail. Good job, man. Okay. Now we're going to do the other part of his tail, and so it's going to come down and then back in. So this looks like it's curved around. Yep. So this is I'm good. Good. Okay, good. I was waiting for you. I wasn't sure if you are done. Okay, now that we do the other fin over here. So even though these one, these two fins are split, it kind of looks like this one. This one is not split. It actually, this part comes around and it connects to the other side. Is that cool? So yeah. it looks a lot, it looks similar to this one, but this is just because it's curved. What color is a killer whale? Black and white. It's mostly black and it's got white belly. So we're gonna do that line that separates the black from the from the white, okay? So we're gonna do, and his mouth, the top of his mouth is black. So we're just gonna come straight out of his nose and then curl up right there. Just go halfway to the fin and then curl up. Good. Then we're going to- Happy fish. Happy fish. Then we're gonna curl down to the fin. Wait, did you say happy fish? I said happy face. Oh, happy face. I said fish. happy fish. I know, it's not fish. <laughs> there, all right, here we go. And then we're going to do the eye. And then we can color it in and leave a little white on it. Good job. So we got his eye. Now let's do the this body line all the way to his tail. So we're going to start where the fin is. And we're going to come back and it's going to be kind of wavy right here so can you do that and then we're going to stop halfway so stop right when you get under the fin or you can probably come a little further so we're going to draw this little s line 
off this fin and then stop right about there. Good job. Now they have this cool, they have this cool, yeah, you got it. Then they have this cool design that, that uh, comes up. Okay. So I just drew it and then we're going to make a big loop that comes around. Good. And we're going to come back around. Good. And then we're going to come down into the tail. Awesome, man. Look at that. Okay, we're missing one little thing. They have a spot right above their eye. So we're going to draw, it's kind of an oval. And I just drew the top and it kind of curls at the end. And then we're going to come back around and finish the oval. Dude, that's awesome, man. Look at that. You drew a killer well. What's the other name for it? Uh, oh. Orca. Orca. Yeah. Orca. Did you have fun? Have to say opera. Opera. That's not the <laughs> right word. <laughs> no, that was Wrong weird. video. <laughs> Did you have fun, dude? Yeah. Good. We hope you guys have fun drawing your killer well with us. And be sure, what day is it? Uh, Friday. Yeah, it's Friday. So that means be sure to take a photo of all of your art that you did this week and send it in to us. Where should they send it, dude? My art at artforkidshub.com. And you can also mail us your art too. You could write us a letter, a real letter. You could handwrite it and you could send us uh, your actual drawing. And where can they send that? Um, P.O. Box 927 Pleasant Grove, Utah 84062. Yes, they can mail it to us at that address. This is pretty cool, huh? Yeah. And we're going to do something really cool with the art that you guys send us. We were thinking about maybe hanging it up in our art room here, and so it'll be in our videos. We also thought we'd feature it and read some of your letters, too. We thought it would be fun. You can tweet us on Twitter at Art for Kids Hub, and you can ask us questions. And in some of our videos, we're going to answer those. So we'll see you later, art friends. Bye, art friends. Have a good weekend. Yeah.